Liam Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Thor Freedom Elite 22FE. This is a great short floor plan. It's perfect if it's just, you know, a couple of you or if it's you and the kids because you have the cab over and a slide-out bed in the back giving you that walk-around bed so the bed's a little bit easier to make than when it is stuffed in a corner. Right over here is the kitchen. One of the things I love about the kitchen is they do give you the big sink in the 22FE here. So even though it's only a single bowl, it is very deep, it's very usable. Plus you have the high rise faucet here that is a pull out faucet. Again, making washing and rinsing dishes a little bit easier. As far as countertop space, you'll notice your cooktop does have a glass cover on here. So you can utilize all this as prep. And then you also have an extension I'll show you in just a moment. This does fold back, it pops right up, so this does double as a backsplash. That'll give you access to those three burners there. Right up front, you'll notice the knobs light up. You can turn it off if you so choose. And then underneath is an oven for baking. You'll also see plenty of drawer space here in the kitchen. You have the one directly underneath the oven. Also, you have a bank of three drawers underneath the sink, the bottom one being larger than the two above it. And then the very top one here is just a fold out. Obviously the sink is right there, so you can't have a super deep drawer because uh, the sink itself would be in the way. You'll also notice this one isn't, uh, doesn't, isn't very deep, also doesn't go all the way back because of the plumbing. As I mentioned, right over here is your pop-up countertop extension just to give you a little bit more prep space. You'll see you have your lights here, an electrical outlet, battery disconnect, so you can just kill all power to the RV right there. And this one is prepped for solar, so if you want solar, it's already pre-wired up on the roof for you, and the controller obviously is already built in. Storage right up top, you'll see the cabinets here. Uh, this one's cool because you'll see this one houses your Blu-ray player, which is already pre-wired to your TV. Most manufacturers are putting in DVD players. They actually put in a Blu-ray, which is awesome because that's what the majority of people have for their collections these days. Moving over a little bit further, you'll notice two adjustable shelves. So you're fully utilizing this space. Perfect for uh, dishes, spices, whatever else you want to put up there. You have the space right up top here. Notice that you have the strut assist, so that way it's easy one-hand operation. So you can just lift it up with one hand, reach up there, you know, and that way you have both hands to uh, grab whatever you need to. You'll also see the microwave right underneath, pretty self-explanatory. And then over to the side here is your fridge-freezer combo. Opening that up, you'll notice plenty of space in here. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Directly underneath that, you got the furnace right there, direct vent furnace. It's perfect, right in the bedroom, keep you toasty at night. You'll see a little extra storage area right underneath that. And then your waste basket is right here. So even though it's not directly in the kitchen, they did still give you a hidden waste basket so that way you, know, you don't have to try, uh, tie a trash bag to a knob. Right here in the back is the bathroom. If you come right on in here with me, right up top is the mirrored medicine cabinet. Obviously storage behind that. Underneath your sink top and vanity, stainless steel bowl on here. Decent countertop space too on both sides, so it is pretty usable. Additional storage underneath. Electrical outlet over on the one side. Over on the other side here is your toilet paper holder. It's already installed for you. Porcelain foot flush lever bowl. The porcelain bowl is great because it's a lot easier to clean. It'll stay looking nicer for longer. And as you'll notice, I have plenty of room when I sit down here, both in my shoulder or both in the shoulders here, as well as my legs. Then over to the side is the shower. Take a step in here. One of the things that you'll notice right away when you step in the shower in the Freedom Elite is how solid the foundation is. Uh, you know, there are some manufacturers out there, you step in and you kind of feel a little bit wobbly. That's not at all the case here. It is, a, uh, again, a very solid foundation. You'll see these shelves for your soap and shampoo hand wand here. To give you an idea of size, I am six foot. You'll see without the skylight, I do hit the ceiling. With it, though, I have plenty of room, so if you're a little bit taller, 6'2", six, 6'3", six, you can shower in here. Now, you know, you, you don't have a ton of room. If I stand sideways, you know, I will be hitting the curtain a little bit, but, uh, you know, it's definitely enough space to be able to get the job done. You'll also notice robe hooks right here, or a towel hook, so that way, you know, you can hang your bath towel there. You'll also have two on the back of the door. If we take a look in the very back, this of course is the bedroom. So this is the slide out bed right here. As I mentioned, it is the walk around bed. It's kind of, 
you know, one of the nice things about having this slide out gives you a little more privacy, kind of feels, you know, a little bit more separated in case, as I mentioned, you are bringing the whole family. Uh, you have the curtain right here to, cl again, close that off for the additional privacy. Your thermostat is right back here for your heat. So if you're wondering where to adjust your heat at, this would be the place to do it. The roof mounted AC has the controls right on the AC unit. You will notice the vent right back here. So if you don't want to run the AC, you just want to open a couple windows up, open this up. By all means, you can do that. You'll see you have windows on both sides of the slide to help with some of that cross ventilation. Windows, are, I'm sorry, lights underneath the cabinets there. You do have the storage cabinets all the way across the top. Electrical outlet over here to the side with dual USB ports there as well. You'll see mirrored wardrobe space. Open that up real quick. You'll see the uh, wardrobe going all the way across there. You also have access on the other side. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. And then the large drawer right here underneath. So we make our way out to the living area. You'll notice you do have storage here, adjustable shelves to help make that space uh, kind of versatile, customize it to your needs. And then if we take a look out kind of by the dining area, you will see the mirror here, which is great. You know, helps open up the space a little bit. It gives you a spot to, you know, be able to see yourself. The other cool thing too is take a look at this. You can pop that open. It does give you access to that wardrobe there as well. So you have a few different access points. You'll also notice storage all across the top here. You can open that up again. You have two struts on there. So that way, uh, you know, the door stays up. Very easy to access anything you need to in there. LED lights underneath as well as elect or, um, as well as your speakers right there. So that way, uh, you know, if you want to play some music, you can do that while you're sitting here at the dinette. These speakers are tied into that front center dash unit. So whatever you're playing on your, uh, your dash radio will play right here on these speakers. This is a 76 inch dream dinette. The dream dinette is fantastic because it's easy to uh, convert from a table into a bed. There's just a little lever right here. All you do is you flip this lever over just like so, and that will let you push this down. Obviously, you don't want to crush your leg here. You want to be uh, outside, you know, or standing up when you do it, but it is easy to drop that down into a bed, so uh, I do like the conversion. Also, you have two seatbelts, so you have two additional riders here safely and securely while you're driving down the road. Uh, some cup holders there as well. I know it may not seem like a big deal, but if you know if you've ever been in a motorhome and you stop at McDonald's or whatever fast food place and you have you know just a regular old paper cup, they tend to spill all over the place. Having the cup holders here in the table actually is really really nice. One of those things you generally don't think about. If we take a look over here, you'll see some additional storage. We open that up for you, so easy to access that storage there as well. And right under here is an electrical outlet, so if you do need to plug anything in, laptop, whatever else, that's where you'll do it at. You can also use the USB ports right up here. Kind of pull this uh, privacy curtain away for you. So you have dual USB ports. So if you are sitting here in the dinette, you can plug uh, your cell phones or whatever into that. But the, the main reason for this, the main intent, is for people that are sleeping right up top here. So that gives them a place to put their cell phone, you have the net. Speaking of sleeping, the, one of the things I love about the Freedom Elite is this cab over bed, folks, because this is rated for 500 pounds. Most manufacturers are only good for about 300 to 350. That is not the case for a Freedom Elite. So that way, you know, you can sleep two adults up here if you have some adult guests that are going to be staying the night with you. If you're not going to have anyone staying with you and you don't want the bedding up here, by all means, you can remove all of this, uh, all these cushions. You can leave them at home. Even the sides here come out. Leave them at home. You can just use that for storage or whatever else. As, a, as you saw previously, you do have the privacy curtain to close this off, a ladder to climb up there, TV on a swing arm right over here so that we can swing that out you know, and watch it from the dinette or wherever else. Directly underneath is the Ford cab. You'll see you have plenty of cup holders right there in the center, that nice big center console unit, some storage underneath there, which is great. Right up above that, you have all your controls for your heat, your AC, as well as your center dash unit, which as I mentioned is the radio, and also where you will see your backup camera. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2019 Freedom Elite 22FE. This one is built on the Ford chassis, housing the Triton V10, putting out 305 horsepower and 420 foot-pounds of torque. You'll see the fiberglass front cap right up top there. It looks nice. Also, it's a little bit easier to clean the bugs off the front cap and it adds a little bit of insulation value as well. Fiberglass sides here, it is a laminated vacuum bonded product, so it's very secure. It has block foam insulation in the wall and it does have the white exterior as well here to help keep 
the coach a little bit cooler. You'll also see the awning spans pretty much the entire length of the home. So you just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in with the LED light strip right up top for easy access to light at night. You the grab handle right here to aid you when you're entering or exiting the RV too. Right down here is very easy access storage. One of the things I like about this, the fact it is rotocast. So that way, if you know if it gets wet in here, you know if you have something, you want to put fish or something in here, uh, it is easy to wash out. You can essentially just take a power washer, a hose, wash everything right out here, which is great. There is a light in there. Obviously, if you're power washing, just be careful of hitting that light. But you know, I do like the fact they put lights in the storage areas as well. So if you're getting in there at night, it's easy to do it. But having one that is on the door side is wonderful. You'll also see that you have two electrical outlets in case you need to plug anything in, electric griddle or whatever else you need to plug in there. That'll be the place to do it. And when you come around to the back, you have the bumper right here with the end cap. So you can pop that off. Gives you a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. Right down over here, take a look at this, folks. This is an 8,000 pound hitch. That's huge. Most, menu push, uh, most manufacturers in a gas, you know, on the Ford chassis, will put on a 5K. This is an 8K hitch. So if you need to do some heavy towing, certainly has the hitch here to be able to do it. Just bear in mind, you know, it is the same V10 engine that uh, is in most of the Ford chassis. So if you plan on towing heavier, just make sure you lighten up your load a little bit uh, inside. Popping back up here, you'll see the rear mounted ladder. So you can quickly and easily climb up onto the roof there. Uh, it is a fully walkable roof, one piece TPO roof. So it is less maintenance than your standard EPDM roof. And you will also see the backup camera housed there as well. So you can see what's behind you as you're backing up. Here on the off door side, if you take a look at the slide out, you will see this one has your worm gear style slides, just a Schwinn tech slide. It is one of the best slides in the industry. It uses two motors. One thing I always tell people is you will actually hear those motors sync up. So when you're moving the slide in or out, just hold that for a couple extra seconds on this type of slide. You'll actually hear those motors sync back up. As long as you do that, it runs perfectly. So very good slide system on there. Obviously you have your bulb seals and everything here as well as your swiper seals right up here so you're not having any leaks coming in the bedroom. And right up top, this one also has the slide out topper on there. So anything that's fallen down, whether it's sticks, pine cones, acorns, whatever else, is falling on that topper. So when you do move the slide in, that's all falling off and not gumming up your slides or your seals right up top. If we take a look underneath that, you will notice the large storage area. Of course, we have the big box in here. That normally <laughs> will not be in here. I'll take that out just to kind of give you an idea of the size, but it is very large. You also have the light over here, just like we did on the other side, so you do have that lit storage. This is perfect for you know some of your larger items like grills, chairs. You know if you're bringing cornhole bo cornhole boards, things like that. Directly underneath is your termination right there. You can see both your black and gray tank valves. Moving up a little ways, fuel fill will be right here. Obviously, the slide will be closed, so it is easy to uh, access at the gas station. City water inlet right there. Uh, directly underneath that is the black tank flush. So that way it washes out your black tank. You don't have to stick a hose down there. Just hook a hose up right there. It has sprayers built in the black tank for you. TV or cable inlet right there. And then you will also see your 30 amp detachable power cord. Directly underneath is your 4,000 Cummins or 4,000 watt Cummins owning generator. So that way you can power everything inside the coach. One of the great things about the Class C, it makes it a little more kind of self-sustainable there. Right up top here is your fresh water inlet. So if you plan on uh, you know going somewhere where you don't have city water hookup, you'll obviously want to make sure you fill your fresh water tank. That's the inlet for it right there. Last thing is your propane, and you will see that right up front. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Thor Freedom Elite 22FE. If you're interested in this beautiful motorhome and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.